Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to look at the sequel to Death Bell 1, known as Death Bell 2, Bloody Camp. The movie starts with a swimming freestyle competition in which Shin E. G. seems to be taking the lead. Two of his friends, a girl and a boy, are standing in the crowd cheering. At the 50 meter turn, another competitive, Chun Tai Yun, picks up speed. She eventually sets a new record and wins a gold medal. Shin is the runner up. In the next scene, the girls get their prize and stand on the podium in front of the media. Chun Ti Yun calls for her friend Si He and the three girls take pictures together. Chun pins the photo in her locker and she stares at it for a moment, then closes her locker and dives back into the pool. As she swims, a black creature takes hold of her and holds her under the water until she suffocates to death. In a classroom, students pass on their exam sheets and start working. One of the girls appears sleepy and puts her head down on a desk. A woman rushes to the class and in haste, she trips and falls. She then tells the professor that she went to the wrong classroom. Meanwhile, we're shown Sihi, who starts bleeding from the nose. The woman is revealed to be a new teacher, and the professor tells her that she can go after the exam. A girl sits near the swimming pool looking at all the swimming girls. She then gets up and walks towards the exit. The coach stops her and admonishes her for not saying goodbye. The girl then leaves after saying goodbye, and the coach tells her to study hard for college acceptance. This seems to anger her. She curses them and leaves. On the turrets above the pool, a boy stands with a camera, taking pictures of the girls' swimsuits. Mrs. Park is seen walking through the corridors. All the passing students greet her. A teacher comes and congratulates congratulates her for passing the evaluation. He asks her out for drinks as they walk to their classes. Mrs. Park stops and tells him she wants to use the restroom. The teacher wishes her luck and leaves. In the next scene, Mrs. Park is shown looking at herself in the mirror and practicing her class. She tries several times and takes a deep breath. Next, she's shown in the class teaching her students. Three people are shown sitting at the back of the classroom evaluating her teaching skills. A suggestive photo of a park and the teacher she was with circulates the classroom. A boy takes a photo from another to have a look. He is called by Park to read something. Mrs. Park notices the picture and confiscates it and she looks at it and gets embarrassed. See he is doing her work when Yum Ji Won walks over and asks her if she wants to rejoin the group. But See he turns down the offer. A boy who's handing out milk throws it towards Ji Young but accidentally hits See he. A teacher then enters the classroom and tells the students that their holidays are soon to come. Some students, he says, will stay behind for extra classes depending on their results. After this, students stand in the hallway to see their grades. Young Ji Yun's friend complains that she came down three places. He Young consoles her and tells her that she will get it back. Ji Yong then notices her top rank in the class and smiles. Kwok Su Yi, a student who had gotten the second rank, stands behind Ji Yong and tells her that she wasn't even trying that hard to outrank her. Si He walks past the crowd to see where she stands to find that she's in 25th place. This means that she too will have to stay for extra classes. Loud screams are heard as Si He comes home. As she walks ahead, she hears the sound of a woman telling the screaming person that the injections shouldn't scare her now since she gets them regularly. As Si He is packing, her friends start talking to her. She tells her friend that she isn't sure what she wants to be. Her friend who asks her what she enjoys the most, to which she replies she loves playing the piano. The friend then asks her to play. Si He does play for a while, but then stops and says she's forgotten the rest of the song. The friend converses for a bit and starts laughing, and suddenly fear takes over. She looks to her side to see the witch's terrifying hands and empty sockets that are oozing blood. She has a series of disturbing flashbacks, after which she screams and wakes up realizing it was just a dream. We're then taken to the school where the students have returned from their vacation. See, he stands in front of the school as a girl in a hood comes running towards her. She stops and looks at her. They both exchange a look and the girl goes inside. In the classroom, the teacher who tells them about the increasing workload they're going to face, he asks Miss Park, who stands in the corner of the room, to take the phones of all the students. As she does, a student gives her an obscene toy. In the next scene, the students are seen sitting in the cafeteria. Ji Young's friend sits next to her and tells her she's decided to sleep with her boyfriend and is very excited. Ji Young asks her if she's sure, and her friend says she's doing it as a birthday present for her boyfriend. She looks at her boyfriend on another table who's bullying Si He, who eventually gets fed up and leaves. Si He goes to another table where the guy who accidentally spilled milk over her is seated. He coughs upon seeing her and apologizes for the incident. She doesn't even pay him any heed. Miss Park sits with two other teachers at the table. As the headmaster is about to leave, he advises the teachers to spend some time together, saying they should get to know each other as colleagues better. A girl tells Hyung A about Ti Young's ghost that was seen earlier. The roommate doesn't believe her and starts to make fun of her. The girl in the hood, seen earlier near the school, admonishes her for making fun of somebody's death. While she's doing her homework, Si He briefly glances at the girl and turns away. 
Hyung A takes her medications and goes to the restroom, and suddenly her hair starts growing on her face and out of her skirt. Blood oozes out of the wall and she starts to scream. However, it's all later revealed to be just a hallucination. While the coach is swimming in the pool, the headmaster comes and starts flirting with her. She gets offended and leaves, and she heads over to the showers and starts to shower. Suddenly, the lights go out and someone comes to her in the dark and abducts her. Ji Yeon's friend comes down to meet her boyfriend. A guy in a hood comes out and takes a hold of her suddenly. The headmaster locks the doors and leaves. We are then shown the abducted swimming teacher who's being tortured by the assailant. In the library, numerous students are sleeping on their desks. Blood starts dripping on Hyane's forehead. See he looks up where something is written. Something like, should a son avenge the death of his mother? Hyane looks up where the swimming coach's corpse is suddenly lowered. A speaker makes a strange sound before a ghostly sound announces that every student will die. However, those who can tell who will die next and who's killing them will stay alive. The corpse hanging from the ceiling falls. The students shout and start running for their lives. They try to escape, but all the exits have been blocked. Mrs. Park tries to calm them down. She tells them that she will find someone who has the key and will free them. A student points on the screen at the hallway, and on the screen, a student named JK is shown lying on the floor. He awakens to see somebody on his bike. He notices several pointy metal spikes fastened to the tires of his bike. The rider starts the bike and comes at him. JK tries to run, but is eventually run over and brutally killed. The students start to get horrified, hyung A saying it's T. Young who has come to kill them. Cha comes and asks what is happening. He's told about the recent events, after which he tries to call for help, however, finds no signals. Cha sends everyone back to class and starts trying to make calls through the telephones, but he finds that all the cables have been cut as well. In the classroom, students are talking about T. Young, who committed suicide a while ago. Hyung A is gulping down her medications, which trigger another disturbing hallucination. Under the impression that ants are crawling over her body, she starts piercing her arms in several places. The students try to calm her down, but she spits blood and dies. Ji Young tells the others that someone changed her medicines, which is why she died. Cha arrives a moment later, and the students start suspecting him, saying he's never around when the deaths happen. The power is suddenly cut again, and Cha tells them they must stay together or they will all die. For the first time here, Si Hee talks about Ti Young. She reveals that Tae Young was her stepsister as well, but she chose to hide it since she hated her. Si Hee then gets a flashback from the time she first met her stepsister. The girl talked for a while, after which Ti Young told Se Hei to never tell anyone about the stepsister's relation of theirs. Cha and So Il go to the maintenance room to solve the power problem. They reconnect a couple of wires which make the lights turn back on, and pressure builds up in the wires and the teacher asks them to run, but before they can do anything, bullets come crashing into the body of So Lee and he dies. A teacher goes out to sit in the corridor. Yung Ji Young comes to him and asks him that all the students that died were related, but the teacher stops her from revealing anything because nobody knows and nobody needs to know. Young Ji Young tells him that there is one more guy involved. He remembers receiving an obscene photo from Wang Hei. She goes to the football ground and gets her pictures in return to which she gave him money. In the next scene, the teacher is looking for Wan Ho. He follows him around and finds blood spots. Wan Ho sits on a seat, his head on the desk clicking the mouse. As the teacher turns him over, he sees his eyes protruding out. Wan Ho jumps on him and throws him in the blood on the floor. He gets up quickly and sees the wall full of maps and pictures of the students from today. Students hear the shrieks and run towards the same lab. Wan Ho lies dead on the floor and they hear the teacher stuck inside of a glass door, so they run to help him out. The door is locked and he is struggling. Students' attention is diverted when they see projector pictures of the wall of their class fellows of JK, Ji Yong, and Yang Ran. There is a puzzle to solve if they want to help their professor and time is running out. Ti Yong tries different words. Fire starts burning inside and the teacher's body catches on fire. The students pick up the characters that were engraved on their fellows' bodies. Nei Rei runs to see Si Hee and asks her why she never told them that Ti Yong didn't attempt suicide. She starts crying and tells her that she was afraid. Another student says that all the students in the pictures are dead and asks them about Ji Young who is not there but in the pictures. Ji Young is in the corridors and Mrs. Park finds her. She tells her that all the people from the pictures have died and it is just her left. The next scene is a flashback. It was a Friday night and they were all studying and tired. When one of them pointed out that Ji Young had a whiskey in her locker. They sat in front of her locker room drinking. They were drunk and fooling around when they started to make fun of Sue's virginity. Ti Young was in the washroom, and they all were there and persuaded Sue to have sex with her. He tried to rape her in front of all of them, and when she attacked, he got her. She slapped him and turned around, and he tried to push her, and her head hit the tap of the washroom, and she passed away. 
The flashback ends and Ji Young tells Mrs. Park that they didn't want to kill her and it was all an accident. She says that they will surrender herself to the police and she needs help. Mrs. Park looked her in the eye and said that you have found the answers. Ji Young shouts and runs away. A screen in the hallway takes everyone's attention as it is Mrs. Park. She says that the students have found all the answer and they have just 10 minutes to use the phone and call home or to the police. Otherwise, they will all be dead. All the students run to the phone. Three of the students go to the studio to catch Mrs. Park. In the studio, a man stands beside her and compliments her for her service. The flashback begins again as the same guy stands in a cafe serving people when he receives T.E.S. message which says she would like to break up with him. He calls her back but her phone lies by the swimming pool where she was killed and the students who killed her were running away. He goes out looking for her and finds her in the pool and he tries to help her. Some student sees him and thinks that he had killed her. All the murderers made false allegations on him that he killed her so the police arrested him and took him away. His name is Jung Bam and he is Mrs. Park's brother. After he went to jail, he went mad. Mrs. Park visited him and would tell him about her school training as a teacher. She says that she is not going to come home for a while. The flashback ends and Jung Bang stands beside her and asks her to go. He tells her that he is coming and she leaves. At the staircase, the students try to get to her, but before that, Jung Bang attacks and kills them. The rest of the students run to the hall and the key to the safe was on a rope which Ji Young was attached to. And if they wanted the key, they had to kill her and go to the safe. Time was running out and some of the students didn't want to. A girl snatched the key due to which Ji Young was suspended in the air. Some of the students ran to support her and let her down, but time was running out. They ran to the safe to use the key, but the time was out. Downstairs there was fire. Students ran into the hall. One of them announced that he knows a way out and they all followed him. On the floor, Jung Bam used the lighter and burnt down the school. The students start rushing out and Nei Rei notices that Si He was nowhere to be seen. In the next scene, she is seen walking on a platform and she sees flashbacks of Nei Rei and Tae Young talking and swimming. She hears Jung Bam approaching her and she turns around. He asks her if she has someone on, to which he tells him that she hasn't. Jung Bam asks her if she has anything to do with Ti Young's murder. In the next scene, Si He recalls the day when she saw Young Ji Young go to the locker room for whiskey. They asked her to bring some chips. When she returned, they looked at her and wanted to have sex with Su Yi. She pleaded to let her go. Ji Young told her that they had to be in her study group and she can't be fun. Jung Bam threw her in the pool to kill her and Si He's friends come to her and rescue her. She saw Tae Young who taught her swimming once. Her friends take her out of the pool and save her life. Thank you so much for watching guys.